So, um, I call myself a storyteller and a connector and a people collector. So, I will start with a story, very brief story about uh, someone goes, dies, goes up there, and this is a story, so you have to believe everything I say. And uh, they're first taken to hell. And hell is having everything and not being able to use it, right? So, there's a big pot of water. Uh, big part of food, sorry. And then the ladle is so huge that you can't reach the top of it. So, you know, how do you pick up and eat, right? So, there's all of them are looking at the food, but they can't eat because the ladle is so high. Then they go to heaven. Same scenario. But everybody seems happily fed and happy. And this person is confused and said, it's the same food, same ladle. What's the difference between heaven and hell? And the person says, the difference is in heaven, they figured out they have to feed each other. So if you try to eat yourself, the ladle is too high. But if you want to feed the other, it's easy, right? And that's the difference between even an idea and an action. You know, one of the things Steffi has been saying over and over again is, what is an action? We know the problems, so what's an action? So today, we are going to talk to you about the heaven we can all create together right here on Earth. With me is my friend Christian Hale, who is from... Munich, uh, we used to work together at Intel in 1995, and this is what friendships do. Years down the line, you do things together. So I want to tell you about, I want to set the context for our conversation. So first I want to talk about the idea of escape velocity. Escape velocity is something, you know, you'd start just as an idea, and then you have a whole team together, they work for years and years and years, and then the rocket takes off, that's all we all see, and that's all we know. We don't know what happened 10 years before or 10 years later. So the rocket takes off, and then it goes up into the space and blasts off this little capsule. And the capsule goes in multiple iterations, and then it gets the escape velocity to take off. And then it takes off and lands, whether it's a Mars rover or whatever, it lands there. And then it sends data back from there. And then we learn about the space, and we do something about it. Now, we are not sitting here and talking about what's the point of that data while we say we want to go to the moon. We are saying, first, let's get there, and then we'll figure out what to do. So it's the same attitude we need to have about solving huge problems. So the problem we are here to talk about is a sustainable de development goal, especially about water. And how do we get clean water to everybody? So we'll quickly take you through you know, what are the big issues? This map just shows global water conflicts. This could be, uh, this is done by Pacific Institute, and this could be a water is used as a trigger, water is used as a weapon, water is just the innocent bystander that gets, uh, you know, spoiled. Whatever it is, just look at the number of slots where water is a problem. And we also want to say the conflicts of the future are going to be about water. We all know this. And in India alone, we have 600 million people who don't have clean water. And by 2005, the lack of available water is low. And in many big cities, 2021, we are already out of groundwater. So these are the stark realities. So we've been working as an organization with a nonprofit called Community Pure Water that's been just working on putting what, you know, water stations in each village. And we put these stations and hire an entrepreneur, train the entrepreneur to manage and sell water very, very cheap. So we have over 650,000 people that are being served that way. Now, this is, I just want to also tell you the, you know, massive problem. In India, each state has over 18, over 10,000, anyway, between 10,000 to 18,000 villages. And so we need to, the problem is about 500,000 villages we need to get to, where it could be 10 people or 200 people. So with this, what we said is that we have done the initial thing. You know, in the escape velocity I showed you, we have a team, we have done the work, we figured out how the RO plans work, we have entrepreneurs in place, we have 650,000 people that are served. It's done. Now, what is our escape velocity? Our escape velocity is now to partner with others to take the idea everywhere. How can we get partnerships from all over the world to come to that? That's when we came to Munich, we came to Christian and Peter and make the planet great again, and we said, how do we do it? How do we make sure all the villages in India get clean water? Then what do we plan to do with it? Christian. Hello, servus from meiner Seite. Um, welcome to Munich, everyone. Um, there should always be a time to take a quick sip of water. So uh, let me do that. 
<laughs> Very slow sip of ah, water. Wonderful. We have such great water here in Munich, but water is a big issue around the world. And do you know why? Because we waste it all the time. This most precious resource that we have, the most valuable resource that we have, which will define our future, we are very careless about it. And as usual, we're very late in addressing the issue, right? So we want to go ahead and address the issue now. This is why we came here to address this topic to you, to build a coalition which we are launching today, and it's called the Friends of Water. Because not one, one person can solve this issue. Not one organization can call, solve this issue. Not a government can solve this issue. We can only form a coalition to actually come up with solutions and really address these global issues that we have. And water will be the most pressing issue soon. We're now hearing about hunger. The next big thing we're going to be hearing about is the lack of water. Especially in India, we have seen this. So the first challenge, of course, is getting clean water to the villages. But then the groundwater is going to disappear soon. In, in, in a, just a few years, we're going to have a problem. So we're going to need completely new solutions and completely new um, ways of addressing these. So today we came here. Thank you very much for DLD for hosting us here. Uh, thanks to Lakshmi from Inc., um, the organization in India, uh, Community Pure Water in India, and my organization that I formed together with Peter Schwarzenbauer, former BMW um, board member, Make the Planet Great Again. And we are here together to launch our initiative called Friends of Water, because we're going to need a lot of things from everyone. First of all, we're going to need more data. We have a lot of, we're seeing a lot of data now, and we can see the looming crisis coming at us at full speed. But we'll need more data and how we can impact it, how we can solve it. We need advocates for water. Water needs to be present everywhere as a topic in the future. We need new ideas, we need new solutions from all of you um, and from everyone that can address these different facets of that problem. We will need time. This is not a short-term mission we're going on, right? We will need time. We will need resources and we will have to have access to great communities like you to join us in doing this. Today, we are launching Friends of Water and it is an initiative to bring together exactly those points. So we're collecting the data, we're looking at the solutions out there, we're bringing together the communities, and we want to work together with you to address this issue of um, clean water. So what you can do is you can take a QR code here or visit friendsofwater.club and tell us how you can contribute, where you're interested in, and we'll reach out to you to work on this because this is an issue which is becoming very present and we must solve it now, and we can only solve it together. So I'm really happy, Lakshmi, yeah. to be here on stage with you. And thank you for Steffi for giving us the stage, so because we wanted to talk to you, among you are ideas, among you are volunteering time, et cetera, et cetera. So I want to just end by saying that a lot of times we feel like just a little drop in the ocean, but as Kahil Gibran said, we each are an ocean in a drop, and we would like all of us to come together to solve this problem. Thank you. Thank you so much.